Hover bikes, yeah, like flying motorcycles, are becoming a real thing. And so is, man, I wish I could just fly over all of this traffic. These futuristic machines might soon be zooming over your head as you're stuck in traffic. The hoverbike market is expected to grow to over $5 billion by 2030, according to market research. That's not just a niche, it's a whole new industry. But where are they now? And how soon can you see one in the wild? Today, we'll break down everything you need to know, from the top companies making them to how they work. And yes, we'll even get into how much one will cost you. They aren't cheap, but they sure are cool. What exactly is a hoverbike? Let's break down what we're talking about here. A hoverbike is a motorcycle crossed with a drone. Instead of wheels, you've got rotors, usually four or more, lifting you off the ground. These bikes are typically powered by electric motors or small jet engines, and they can hover, fly, and give you the freedom to zoom above traffic like you're in a futuristic action movie. Here's how it works in simple terms. The rotors create lift, like a helicopter, and then you control the direction. Hover bikes are also equipped with stabilization software, so you don't need to be a pro pilot to ride one. It's like riding a motorcycle, but in the sky. Electric versus turbine engines. Most hover bikes are either powered by electric motors, like drones, or small jet turbine engines. Electric engines are quieter and more eco-friendly, but they often have limitations in terms of range and power. Turbine engines, on the other hand, can offer much higher speeds and greater endurance, though they're louder and consume more fuel. Materials. One of the key breakthroughs in making hoverbikes possible is the use of lightweight composite materials like carbon fiber, which significantly reduces weight without sacrificing strength. This is critical because every extra kilogram impacts the vehicle's flight range and stability. Flight control systems. Like drones, hoverbikes rely on advanced flight stabilization systems to keep them balanced during flight. These systems use a combination of gyroscopes, sensors, and automated software to ensure smooth flying, even in turbulent conditions. The key players, who's making hoverbikes happen? Jetpack Aviation, the speeder. Now, if you've never heard of Jetpack Aviation, you're about to. Jetpack Aviation, a California-based company that originally specialized in personal jetpacks, has ventured into the hoverbike space with its latest innovation, the speeder. These guys aren't new to flying machines. They've been building actual jetpacks for years. Yes, the kind you strap on your back to make you feel like a flying hero for maybe 30 minutes. Now they're stepping it up with the Speeder, a hoverbike that's as fast as it sounds. The Speeder is a turbine-powered hoverbike designed for both recreational and military use. According to Jetpack Aviation, the Speeder can reach a mind-blowing speed of 240 kilometers per hour or 150 miles per hour and climb to altitudes of up to 15,000 feet. With a flight time of around 20 minutes and a payload capacity of 600 pounds, the Speeder is a serious contender in the hoverbike race. That's like halfway to the cruising altitude of a commercial plane. Jetpack Aviation has raised $2 million in its latest funding round to accelerate production, with the first batch expected to be delivered to military buyers by 2025. The U.S. military is already testing hoverbikes for potential use in rapid deployment missions, which could mean you'll see these things in action sooner rather than later. Civilian versions are expected to follow shortly after, but at a price tag of $380,000, it's going to remain a luxury for the few. Two. Ali Technologies, X Turismo. Japan's Ali Technologies have been at the forefront of hoverbike development with its X Turismo Limited Edition, which made waves when it debuted in 2021. Now, this one looks a bit more like a giant drone with a seat, but it's got some serious tech behind it. The X Turismo is a hybrid hoverbike that combines traditional motorcycle components with drone like propellers. It can fly for about 40 minutes and hit speeds of 100 kilometers per hour or 62 miles per hour. While not as fast or powerful as the Speeder, the X Turismo is designed for urban environments and emergency responders. Ali has already begun selling these bad boys in Japan for about $777,000. And it's not just for showing off. These hoverbikes are being pitched to emergency responders. Interestingly, they are targeting sectors like disaster relief and search and rescue, 
areas where traditional vehicles struggle. 3. Hoversurf Hoverbike S3 If you're looking for something a bit more practical and affordable, relatively speaking, check out the Hoversurf S3. This one is a little less supercar in the sky and more like a souped-up flying motorcycle. It tops out at 96 kilometers per hour or 60 miles per hour and runs on electric batteries, making it a greener option compared to turbine-powered models. Here's something crazy. The Dubai police force is already testing these out for patrols. Imagine getting pulled over by a flying cop on a hoverbike. The Hoversurf S3 costs around $150,000. So while it's still expensive, it's not totally out of reach for high-end consumers. You might just start seeing these in places like Dubai sooner than you think. Can you trust a hoverbike? Now here's the real question. Flying motorcycles sound crazy, but what about safety? I mean, it's one thing to ride a bike on the road, but flying it? The good news is that these companies aren't just strapping wings onto motorcycles and calling it a day. Most of these hoverbikes have automatic stabilization systems, much like drones, so they're easier to control. Some even come with parachutes for emergencies. But don't get too comfortable just yet. There have been some bumps along the way. In 2019, a Hoversurf S3 crashed during a test flight in Dubai. Fortunately, the pilot was unharmed, but it shows that we're still ironing out some kinks. The fact is, hoverbikes are still in their early stages, and while they're cool to look at, getting them completely safe and road or sky ready is going to take a bit more time. When can you get one? Let's be real. Most of us aren't dropping $300,000 to $700,000 on a hoverbike anytime soon. Might even need a lifetime to see that amount. But if you've got that kind of cash burning a hole in your pocket, you might be able to get your hands on one within the next few years. Companies like Jetpack Aviation and Ali Technologies are already taking orders, with deliveries expected by 2025 for certain models. Japan's X Turismo already has over 200 pre-orders from companies around the world, and they're targeting the first deliveries by the end of 2024. For the rest of us, hoverbikes are probably a decade away from being affordable, if that's even the right word, and mainstream. But just like electric cars, once mass production kicks in, prices will start to drop. So while we might not all be flying to work just yet, the future looks pretty exciting. So. What do you think? Would you break your bank and risk it all for a bike that flies? Drop your thoughts below and let's talk about the future of flying transportation.